There are some of you that are going through the most intense battle of your life right now and you can't figure out why. You're saying, God, I've done all that you've asked me to. God, I've consecrated my life to you. I, God, I'm given over to prayer and given over to worship. God, I've cut all of these things that are unpleasing to you out of my life. God, I just don't understand why I'm having to walk through this. I don't understand why this is coming against me. There's a, uh, a book out, Why Bad Things Happen to Good People. And I can sum that up for you in, a, in, in literally in, in a phrase. It's because you love Jesus. God revealed to me that there are those of you that are, are walking through this intense time and you're doing everything right. You're not people who are given over to sin. You're not people who are given over to the lusts of this world. You're walking in purity and holiness. You're walking, uh, you know, in, in paths of righteousness. You have no part in compromise. Yet all hell is breaking loose against you. And it's to you that I send this message. I'm not talking to those people who are in sin. I'm not talking to people who are walking in muddy waters. I'm not talking to people who are off the, the, the path of righteousness. I'm not talking to those people because that's a totally different story. I'm talking to you that are on paths of righteousness. Those who are given over to the desires of our almighty God and his son Jesus Christ and his precious Holy Spirit. I'm talking to you today. God has sent a message for you. A message of hope, a message of redemption, and an explanation for why you're going through what you're going through. If you look with me in Revelation chapter 12, verse 17, this is the explanation for why you're going through what you're going through. The Bible says, Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to make war against the rest of her offspring, those who obey God's commandments and hold to the testimony of Jesus. So, saints and friends, those of you who are walking through this hard time and you know you're living right before the Lord, you know that you've done all you can do. You're wearing the full armor of God, walking in intimacy with him. And you're a prayer warrior. You're an intercessor. You're a watchman. You're a prophet. Then hell is breaking loose against you and you can't figure out why. This is why. Because there's a war against you in the heavenlies that has come down to earth that is specifically against those who literally spelled out here in quotes who obey God's commandments and to those who hold to the testimony of Jesus it's because you hold to the testimony of Jesus you're obeying his commandments in Christ Jesus that's the reason you're going through what you're going through the enemy will make you think that you've made a wrong turn, that you're on a detour, that uh, you're off path somehow, you've offended God, that God's angry with you, that God has turned his back on you, that God has walked away from you. The enemy will want you to believe that God has abandoned his plan for you, but I stand here to tell you the devil is a liar and the Lord rebuke him. The blood of Jesus is against him, the name of Jesus stands against him, and this word stands against him. This is the testimony of truth here as to why you're going what you're going through what you're going through. The enemy will try and bring up all kinds of things from your past and God has already said I've cast your sins as far away from you as far away from me as the east is to the west. That's how far your sins are away. They are gone, washed away by the blood of Jesus shed at Calvary's cross. So the enemy trying to bring up things and trying to act like this is this is and make you believe these spirits, demonic spirits are trying to make you believe that this is something else. This is some other reason. Here's the reason. It's because you literally hold to the testimony of Jesus Christ and you obey the commandments of God in Jesus Christ. No other reason. We got a devil who's mad at our God, who's come down, who hates us so much because we're the beloved of Christ Jesus. And he has literally planned an all-out assault on us. But don't fear. There is no fear. Perfect love casts out all fear. And let me tell you something. That was another thing God released today. Just when you're in these places, just continue to say, God loves me. God loves me. He loves me. He loves me so much that he sent his son Jesus to die for me. 
He loves me. I love the way Patricia King says that he loves me with an everlasting love. He loves me and his favor, the crown of favor over me endures for a lifetime. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. This is your warfare is to begin to speak and decree the word of God over your life concerning the truth of God for your life. This is your warfare. Take up these weapons of war. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you shall be condemned and shown to be in the wrong. And God himself will stand and vindicate you. Because, and I, I want to even validate, there are some of you who are going through things and people are telling you, you, you got other people speaking against you and they're saying, this is happening to you because of this reason. Oh, it's because she did this or it's because he did that. The Lord rebuked that. That's a lie of the enemy. The reason you're walking through what you're walking through is because you hold to the testimony of Jesus Christ. You obey his commands and you hold to the testimony of Jesus Christ. Do not relinquish it. Do not let, let go because on the other side of all of this is greater glory. Jesus himself said he withstood the cross for the greater glory that awaited. He could see us, his pure and spotless bride. He's so worthy. He's so worthy of it. This little light affliction, the Bible calls them light afflictions. These light afflictions are common. Don't let the enemy make you think you're the only one that's going through it. These are common. Don't let the enemy make you think that this is just outrageous and odd. It's common. It's common. It's common to man. That's what the Bible says. But literally take up, fight the, the good fight of faith. Take up the weapons of your warfare, which are not carnal, but are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Literally take up this word and begin to decree it out in the atmosphere. The truth of God concerning you and set the enemy to flight. The Bible says, resist, submit yourself to God. Submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. Do warfare with the word. Do warfare with the word of prophecy God has spoken over you. But don't let go. This is what the enemy's after. When you, when you recognize what the enemy came for, don't let it go. That means there's value in it. If he came for your ministry, don't let, don't relinquish it. Don't relinquish it. If he came for relationships, do not relinquish them. That's what he's after. If he came to hurt you and to injure you, don't take up events because that's what he's trying to do is to get you in that place where he can rob you. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Whatever it is the enemy is trying to steal from you. And most of all, do not relinquish the testimony of Jesus Christ because that is what's of eternal value, which is why the enemy is working so hard to steal it. Hold fast, hold strong. Bind yourself to the testimony of Jesus Christ and bind the testimony of Jesus Christ to you. Never let go. I just pray over you right now that you'll be able to endure these times, that God would give you wisdom, that he would seal your mouth when you're not to speak and open it when you are to speak, that you would have the mind of Christ and literally speak out the mind of Christ, that you would begin to speak the word, to consume the word, and then to speak it back out, that you would fight the good fight of faith and do battle in the spirit where it really lies. And I just declare and decree that angels come and assault the enemy forces on your behalf. And then they come in and nourish you because I know it's been an intense battle, but God is sending nourishment to you right now, even through this message that I'm bringing you. And we just say to the enemy, no more, no more. The Lord rebuke you and the blood of Jesus is against you. The plans and purposes of God for our lives will stand and we will not let go of the testimony of Jesus. So right now, I just decree that over you. I bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he, may he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may he give you, his children, his peace. In Jesus' name, amen. That was good.